An employee is paid 1.5 the regular hourly rate for each hour worked in excess of 40 hours per week, excluding Sunday, and two times the regular hourly rate for each hour worked on Sunday. How much was the employee paid last week? So we want the total dollar amount that the employee owed, earned last week. So statement number one tells us that the regular hourly rate is $10 an hour. Well, that's useful because that means that for overtime, the person would make $15 an hour, and on Sunday, they'd make $20 an hour. So that's helpful, but this statement by itself gives us no idea whether the person worked overtime or not, whether they worked on Sunday or not. So even though this statement is potentially useful, we have no way of knowing how much the person worked. So by itself, this statement is insufficient. Now we have to completely block that out of our mind and move on to statement number two. Statement number two tells us last week the employee worked a total of 54 hours, but did not work for more than eight hours on any day. And so what we notice is that 54 divided by eight, well, 54 goes into eight six times with a little bit left over. So it means that the person had to work at least six hours every day. You'd kind of assume that they work eight hours from Monday through Friday. That would be 40 hours and then somehow had 14 hours on the weekend. We don't know of that 14 hours how much went to Saturday and how much went to Sunday. So there's a lot of ambiguity there. And of course, in, in statement number two by itself, we have no idea what the wage is either. And so we have absolutely no way to calculate the total pay. So this statement by itself is insufficient. Well, now if we combine the two statements, well, now we have all the information about the wage. So the wage information is complete. But the trouble is, this 54 hours, we still don't know exactly how it was distributed. We don't, we're not sure if it was distributed for exactly 40 hours of the ordinary work week and we don't know in particular how much time was allocated to Saturday or to Sunday. So we have no idea of the extra 14 hours that is above and beyond the 40 hours. We have no idea how much of that went to Sunday and how much of it was just on other days when it only got the regular overtime pay and not the Sunday pay. So because of that ambiguity, we have no way to answer the question exactly how much pay was made during this week. So even with the statements combined, the information is still insufficient and the answer is E.